Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and we are in the Dreaming City to talk about something a little different for a change. We're going to talk about Chronicler. Now, some of you guys may not know too much about the seals and titles, some of you guys may have them all already, don't know. But, specifically I wanted to touch on Chronicler because some of the things in here are time limited with regards to being able to actually purchase the pin from Bungie Rewards. Now, you should still probably be able to earn these titles while Destiny 2 is still going on, but the uh, actual Bungie Rewards pins that you can purchase for the seals are time limited. All of them are going to go away on August 31st, so whenever year 2 of Destiny 2 ends, that's the last time that you're going to be able to get these pins. So, as you can tell, I've unlocked uh, Wayfarer, I've unlocked Dredgen, so I can purchase those. I'm two weeks away from Cursebreaker, just waiting on a couple of Ascendant challenges, I'm basically done there. And Chronicler is one, as a solo player, I honestly thought that I was like, okay, let me look into this, see what it takes to get, I can probably get this one. Now, I'm recording this on May 16th. I'm in the middle of um, the week of May 14th to May 20th, which is important for dates, and I'll show you guys kind of why. Main reason is... What we've got here is a couple pieces of this that are very time limited, basically on the rotations of Dreaming City, and then also rotations of the Flashpoints. Are There are some that you cannot just like force grind out. There are some you truly have to wait on. So what I want to go through is what it takes to get each one of the lore books, anything that is time limited, and then kind of show you guys uh, the pieces with regards to the final book, um, which is going to be the hardest one for me to get, which is Truth to Power. But I'll cover that last uh, but let's jump in and see what we've got. Any of these lore books are basically going to be any of these entries of lore. Some are going to be, you know, Truth to Power is the one I'm talking about that's hard to get. You've got the Forsaken Prince, which are collectibles. Some of these are related to Dreaming City stuff, which I'm almost done with. So all of these have certain pieces to them. When you get all of them, all 10 books, you will be able to get Chronicler. So... Let's go through and break them down one by one. First is Tangled Shore. Most of you guys probably have this done if you played Forsaken. All it is is just the campaign in Forsaken. Nothing too crazy there, but it is the campaign in Forsaken that's going to unlock each one of these. So this one you should just get pretty naturally at some point. Uh, the Dreaming City is kind of similar. It's not specifically just the campaign itself, but it is going to come from just activities in the Dreaming City, which should just naturally happen. Whether it's opening chests, public events, blind well... Just do all the things in the Dreaming City, and there's enough stuff you're going to do in the Dreaming City. This one shouldn't really be an issue. The Man They Call Cade. This one is from the chests inside of the Ace of Spades mission, Ace in the Hole. Now, it says there are 13 stories gathered. I don't remember there being 13 chests, so I don't know if you have to do this twice. Um, and it says they can also be found in any chest in the world, so it's possible to earn these randomly during openings. Um, so I probably did get a couple of those that way, but a lot of them are going to be checked off just as you do um, the actual mission ace in the hole. There are different secret chests kind of all around in there. They're really cool to go find. It makes you really explore that area. So that one's honestly kind of cool, pretty easy to knock out though. If you don't, you know, if you've already got Ace of Spades, like say on all three of your characters, or you don't have another character to grind up, just check the daily story mission. So what you would do is basically come in here, check your destinations, uh, and if you go to the Vanguard... Check your daily story missions, and if you see Ace in the Hole, which it's not there today, but it is should be on a rotation, you should find that one there eventually. So, that's that one. Then, we've got the Drifter. I'm going through the ones I've completed because those seem to have been just naturally done. Now, the Drifter is going to be a little harder. Most of this is going to come from playing Gambit, completing Gambit Triumphs, doing certain things. But there are two that come from Malfeasance, which is the exotic hand cannon. Let you have to get through the quest line, you have to fight the Meatball. Um, it's the Ascendant Primeval. Um, and those are the ways to get the Drifter. So this one is going to take a little bit of work, but if you play Gambit, um, especially as they've got the Meatball coming up on a decent rotation, this one should just naturally happen as well if you're working on Triumphs and trying to do these things. But you will probably need to spend some time in Gambit, which, you know, to each their own, it's up to you if you enjoy that one. Now, these two on the right, both Truth to Power and Varix of the Loyal, I'm going to cover last, Truth to Power, especially last. But Aldrin Sov, Awoken of the Reef, and Ghost Stories. These are all truly just collectibles. I haven't done them yet, basically just because I haven't hunted them all down. But if I wanted to spend the rest of the day and find them all and look up guides and tell me where they're all at, I could probably have all of these just need to go get them. So Aldrin Sov, again, these are just collectibles in the world. Same with the Awoken of the Reef and Ghost Stories. So look up guides between Reddit and YouTube. Esoteric's done some awesome ones. Uh, these are all out there. They're just collectibles. So these just take time to go find. These aren't really time limited in any way. Now, Maracena... This one is related to the Dreaming City, but specifically this one is with regards to the lore bones and the eggs within the Dreaming City. Now, if you haven't ever got any of those, 
it will take you a full six weeks to get. Because there are lore bones in each of the Ascendant challenges, and there's six of them on a weekly rotation. There are uh, eggs in each of those as well. So those are going to make you wait at least six weeks. Uh, then you've also got Shattered Throne, which is up every three weeks. Now, you could technically knock it all out in one week if you want to. Um, so, But you're still going to take six to get through all the Ascendant challenges, so it depends on how many times you want to run that. But you do need the Wish Ender Bow to get the eggs. So you need to actually to start grinding the eggs. This is actually an important time to do it. You want to get your Wish Ender Bow this week if you want to start the grind. Now, you have time to go through and get the bow say you start the quest this week but maybe you don't finish it all then you have to wait three weeks for the dreaming for the dreaming city to get back on curse week three then you go back into the shattered throne then you get your bow and then you're you know on another six weeks to start shooting the eggs and the ascendant challenges you still have time for that because as i said to buy the pin it's august 31st when those will go off of sale so that's kind of an important date to remember and i'll show you guys as to why when it comes to the final books so you need the Wish Ender Bow for the eggs. You need to gather all of those in the Dreaming City, the Ascendant Challenges, and the Shattered Throne, and in the Raid. Now that's one of the harder parts too. There are five eggs in the Raid, four you can get by yourself. One of them does have to be after the Morgath fight, which is the big ogre. So you will have to do one Raid to get the eggs, and you have to make sure you activate the 14th Wish before you start the Raid to go find those. Now as I said, four of the five are something you can activate the wish, kind of teleport yourself in certain places, you can get them by yourself. But um, if you are going to go raid with a group, activate the wish first, make sure you know where you're going, and make sure they're willing to wait on you to get the eggs. But one full run through in the raid is all you need for five of the eggs in there. One of them you have to actually beat Morgath to get to because it's after him. Other ones you seem to be able to cheese your way into. So Marasina, not an easy one, but if you wanted to, like, start on this one this week that's actually a good thing because this is a curse week three this is when the curse is the strongest but this is when shattered throne is open so you can start the wish ender quest by finishing vorgeth in the shattered throne you start the quest there you go do one or two pieces of mission then you go back in you do the three secret bosses and then you get your bow in there in the, after morgeth again or vorgeth uh, in the Shadow Throne, and then you can start shooting all the eggs. So you could do that full rotation this week. This is the week of May 14th to May 20th. Next time that you're going to be able to do that is June 4th to June 10th, and I'll cover those dates again in just a little bit. So keep that in mind. You do, you do have time. Don't feel like you're totally rushed, but this is one you probably want to start putting some work in on. Now, Variks the Loyal is one that is going to take some grinding in Tangled Shore, specifically because it's only on weeks that the Tangled Shore is the Flashpoint. Now, the Flashpoint does seem to be on a consistent rotation, so if that does hold true while making this video, the next time Tangled Shore is going to be the Flashpoint is next week, which starts May 21st through May 27th. Now, the way you get these pieces of lore is basically just doing activities in the Tangled Shore. Now, a lot of people will tell you heroic adventures are going to be a way to get you know a better chance at these, so the daily heroic adventure is going to be an important thing to do, uh, but also public events... Just, you're going to need to spend time in Tangled Shore until you get these. I don't know if you can run the daily Horok adventure over and over and still get pieces from that. If you need to do each one, I'm not sure. But you have three times that the Tangled Shore is going to be the flashpoint before uh, the lore pin or the Chronicler pin goes off sale. So those weeks are going to be as follows. May 21st to May 27th. June, th June 9th, or sorry, July 9th through July 15th. And then August 27th. It's through September 2nd, but the pin goes off sale on the 31st. So you have August 27th through the end of the month. Um, so those are the three times that Tangled Shore will be specifically on that um, Flashpoint. And that's the only time to get those. Other than that, you can't just go grind out stuff in Tangled Shore on an off week and get those things to drop. It has to be during the Flashpoint, so those weeks are very specific. Um, now, if there's anything I figure out when I go grind this out for myself, because I have to get quite a few of these pieces... Um, if I find out anything that makes this easier, if Heroic Adventures are the way to go, if I'm doing 20 public events and not getting anything, I'll make a video for you guys um, next week and just kind of see how the grind goes. But hopefully that one's not too bad. Finally, we come to Truth to Power. Now, Truth to Power is one that is going to be specifically um, one that you can get, but depending on how you work your way through it is one um, that if you haven't gotten some progress already, you will not be able to get the pin. So before you start grinding any of this other stuff out, it is important to make sure you check where you're at in your progress. Uh, and I'll get to that in just a second. But the way you get Truth to Power is as follows. 
every three weeks, when it is Curse Week 3, when the Curse Week is the strongest, when Shattered Throne is up, what you can do is come up here, and normally, you talk right here, they'll put a chest down, and you're good to, you're good to go. Well, on the Curse Week 3, the portal opens, you go into the realm, and while she may have left it based on the story, you still have the chest that you pick up, and you're going to get the lore from there. So I've actually been saving this until I recorded this video this week. So what you need to do for um, this book specifically, and this is the one that's the truth to power, um, this is Gateway Between Worlds. You don't have to do it on the, on the other two weeks. It really doesn't serve you any purpose. But on the third curse week, you're going to want to be doing some blind well. You're going to want to come in here, get your offering to the oracle. It's going to be sitting right here. going to come up and offer it to the oracle. And you'll notice this will stop and we're going inside. This is the only way to get these lore pages or lore books or whatever it is. So once this thing opens up, we'll go inside and hopefully I should get my sixth. So I'm going to show you guys this one specifically. Now she's not going to be in here. If you guys haven't been in here in a little while, you'll recall seeing the uh, triangle ships. Can't wait to see what happens with the story when those come about. And then up here, you'll have the chest at the end. And you should get a lore entry. So, we'll open it up. And there you go. I got injection. Eris Morn's body twitches and folds. Interesting that we talk about Eris Morn. So, we can stand here and finish this discussion. But you'll notice to come down here to the triumphs, to lore, truth to power, and I got number six. Now, for me, I barely made the timing to start actually paying attention to finish this up. So, if you are watching this week, and this is going to be May 4th, what is it? Yeah, May 14th through May 20th, this is, this will have to be injection for you. If you're going for the pin, you have to start getting this one this week. Very specific. Because you have to wait another three weeks for the next one, and three weeks for the next one, and three weeks for the next one. So, the dates for the next five that I have to get... So if you're watching this and you haven't got it yet, and it's, you know, it's May 20th, go grind this thing out. Get it now. Uh, but if you're on number two, for example, you will not be able to finish this by the time the pin goes off sale. Now, it won't mean you won't be able to get the title. You still should be able to come back in here, do blind well, if you can find people matchmaking with, within at least. Um, but you will not be able to get this in time for the pin. Me, I'm literally just in time, and I'm going to explain the dates as to why. So we've got... Right here is number six for me. This is week of May 14th. This is going to be number seven. This is the week of June 4th. This is going to be number eight. This is the week of June 15th. Number nine. This is the week of July 16th. Notice how I'm getting closer to August. Number 10 is the week of August 6th. And number 11 is going to be the week of August 27th. Four days before Chronicler pin will go off sale. Four or five, basically. So, that is why, if you are watching this now, during the week of May 14th through May 20th, this is a Curse Week 3. And if you can still get this, if your next one that you're going to get is the one that I just got right here, this is your next one to unlock, you can still buy the pin. And you have plenty of time to grind out all the others. You have three Flashpoint rotations that are going to be on Tangled Shore to grind those out. Try and do it in the first one, but at least if not, you have another one. Excuse me. Uh, you have plenty of rotations to go through for the Dreaming City, for the eggs, the lore bones, the Ascendant Challenges, things like that. Even if for some reason you miss it, and you're like, oh, I don't even have the Wish Under Bow yet. Well, next Curse Week 3, when I would be working on the next one, you can still go get your Wish Under Bow, you know, start working on some of the eggs. You may not get them all, but you still got six weeks. Between this one and this one, you'd have all of your eggs. So you have plenty of time if you start now for all of them except Truth to Power. Truth to Power, you have to be picking this injection lore up this week to be able to get the pin. But if you're like, hey, I'm right here, I'm getting this one this week, you'll get this last one and you'll just have the title at least, but you won't get the pin. So I wanted to cover that because if you want the pin, I wanted you guys to know the times that you're looking at. Because for me, I didn't know I was actually going to barely be under the wire to get it in. 
Uh, but the Chronicler title is one as a solo player, and just because the game has cool lore and stuff like that, if you're one who likes collectibles, you'll be doing some of that, and just playing activities and some of this you may naturally have already. So, just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what it takes to get the Chronicler title, uh, some of the time constraints to getting the pin, and also what you're looking at to start gathering some of these things if you're working for the pin, if you can get the pin, and then also just so you understand, you know, the three-week rotation on a couple of these books, and the seven-week rotation on the... Um, specifically the Flashpoint, because there are seven planets for the Flashpoint to be on, and you go in order. So, next week is going to be Tangled Shore, right here, then you're going to go through all the other planets. I don't remember the right order. Flashpoint's never on Dreaming City, so this is going to be, say it's, it's not this order, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every seventh, every seventh week, we'll be back on the Tangled Shore. So that is it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you've got any questions. Um, always appreciate those and happy to say hi to all of you. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Ubantus. I'm going to be streaming more because my internet should finally be solid. Uh, also on Twitter as well. Just keep you guys updated with videos and things like that. If you're interested in my Discord, let me know um, and everything. Thank you guys very much. We're about to pass 34,000 subs. So just cool to see another one of those thousand subs tick over. So keep that going. If you haven't subbed yet, please do. I've got good content coming to you all the time. So thank you very much. Have an awesome week. I hope this helps some of you out. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.